don't understand my... It's very simple. Would you like a hint? Man, he's an arrogant boy. Yes, when your sleeping memory is awake and you may no longer be you, you may be someone different. Make any sense? No? Yeah, I didn't think it would. So, there we go. I have a fire card. Talk to your party members sometimes. Oh, of course, it's only Donald and Goofy. If we face Axel again, yeah. yeah. Leave him to Donald. Donald will kick his ass. Right? Sure. Hey, it's Jiminy. You may no longer be you. Well, I mean, you may be blonde, have more spiky hair, and different clothing, and become insanely emo? <clears throat> huh? What? Oblivion! That's a Keyblade. Whatever they're cooking, it smells good. Let's go eat some food. He is making a reference to the first game. And we are being an idiot and not remembering anything. Cough, we're forgetting shit. Hollowed Bastion is the word we're looking for. I don't see how you could forget. That was like right next to the end of the game. In fact, we even see it later on in this game. Ugh. Alright, so here's the save room, which we're going to save because we did fight a boss fight. This is a warp point. You press the A button, it sends you and pat pat. Send you to different floors. So you can always come back. Two previous floors you've used. So let's select the next world! Yes, you get to select the worlds here. And we're going to... Let's do it in the order that I used to do it. We're gonna do it first with Wonderland. I watched that movie. It's not a bad movie. There's a rabbit with a clock. And he's very late. And he has very red eyes. I'm pretty sure he's high. He's a high bunny. He had too much to smoke. Or the mushrooms. Maybe it's the mushrooms. God, look at his eyes. Off of his head? You know, I also played American Monkey's Alice. That was a very good game. So, here we are, Wonderland. For those of you who don't know what Wonderland is, you guys are missing out. If you, even if you don't like the Disney version, the movie is still really good. So let's show off a couple of battles. Obviously, if you jump on mushrooms, you will get stuff. You hit flowers, they give you stuff. Let's see what the monsters are like. We get to fight plants. How awesome is that? God dang it. The plants have high attack cards. That's annoying. And we leveled up, which is nice. If only you could reload while your allies were attacking. That's so nice. And we got a new card! Let's actually learn a slate. Oh yeah. Now how I like to arrange slates, because we're on slates, is because I like to arrange them in order. So I like to have... For example, the sliding dash is status. The sliding dash is 10 to 15 points total. Three attack cards. So let's make it 
5, 10, 15. There we go. There's a slate. I like to put slates in front of the other cards, actually. So I'd put it, like, here, and then... There you go. Slates are the only real reason you still have your low-level cards after a while. This is your map, obviously. This is the end room. This is the beginning room. This is the Moogle room that we're showing off right now, after this battle. So, let's show off Sliding Dash. Combos for the win! If you notice that the enemy card that you are trying to break is almost impossible to break at the moment, don't waste your cards. They will actually still be gone afterwards. Material waking, or martial waking. Huh. wonder what that is. Eh, it probably increases your physical attacks. So let's try out the Moogle Room! Show that off real quickly. Because we all seen the uh, enemies. We got those plants and more soldiers. The Moogle Shop is basically your card shop. You start off with a bunch of cards at the beginning. Basically, Those red dots that I've been collecting are Moogle cards. Points. You get Moogle points, you can buy decks. You can also trade in Moogle... You can also trade in cards... ...to increase the points. Each card is... ...has a set of value. Magic cards are usually more expensive. I never use item cards. Enemy cards, depending on the enemy card. I don't need that. So, let's buy something, huh? Magic cards are usually more expensive than physical cards. Those values are always set, regardless. And we got platinum cards! Platinum cards are... Cards that can only be used once, but in, therefore are more powerful. I hate platinum cards. I absolutely hate them. Platinum cards are like the bane of my existence. Put that in there. Alright, uh, so... That there. But, they can be useful in one or two occasions. They're very rarely useful because they're only used once. However, you can use them in slights because you're going to use them anyway. So they're actually best useful in magic combos. And the reason why the platinum cards are so useful is because their cost is extremely low. I mean, it's amazingly low how very inexpensive Platinum cards can be. It's very, very useful, in fact. Did I remove that? No, I didn't. I don't need another Cure card. What combos can I get with Simba? Crowd Roar... Useless, useless, useless. So you start off with all the magic combos. So let's sell off some crap. We don't need this stuff. And sadly, we do not have enough points for another deck. Which means that we're not going to get the next Keyblade upgrade right now. So, starting things off, let's get all the monsters dead. Be back in a second. Hi there, and welcome back! We have a new enemy. The... I can't remember its name. Basically, this is a very big dude. 
you actually want to attack him from behind. His front side is automatically guarded, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. In fact, it's a major pain in the ass for that here, but I don't know why I cast fire on him. Very stupid. I probably should move the combo lower. See, that's one thing about this game. You're always going to be constantly changing your decks to fit your playstyle. Don't know why I did that. It's just, it happens, you know? I don't know why I did that. So let's put the combo right here. Ta-da! There we go. All is well. Alright. Back to slaying. Alright, everyone. Welcome back. Since last time, we got a new slate or slight stun impact. It's rather hard to pull off right now, seeing as how I don't have very many cards. Because of its high number. So, we need a green card. I'm going to use a meeting ground because I have more of those. And here we are! Those of you who've ever watched Alice in Wonderland should get the general storyline. She's being accused of being evil. And the rabbit, of course, is high on shrooms. And dear god, I hate her. I hate the Red Queen. And apparently Alice stole her memory. Because her memory is apparently a very major thing. Yeah, the Queen of Hearts! Hearts that get ripped away! Right. And of course, Sora butts in because he's a douche like that. He's like, I will not let this stand! The sentence is death. Right. Wonderland is actually very creepy. This trial is a farce! OBJECTION! It was the Heartless? Oh wait, Sora's the thief. Gosh, really? No! Heartless! Durr! So it's time for boss fight! We get to fight the cards! Just like in the first game, where you actually fought the cards. Of course, on the other hand, we weren't actually a criminal. We were just trying to save Alice. But, nonetheless... Uh, let's... God dang it, stop comboing me here! Ugh, I hate it when they combo you like that. You have to break the combo or else you'll just keep getting hit. It's annoying. Get fired, fire, douchewad. Stop hitting me! God, this sucks already. Alright. Let's get some attacks off. Go. 
I am sucking major. Uh, at least you know. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've actually played this game, so pardon me if I'm not exactly. Stop stabbing me! Thank you. And for all our troubles, we get Card Soldier Enemy Card, which.